Hi. Now in this example, what we're going to do is look at a typical question involving SUVAD equations, that's the equations for constant acceleration, where we've got motion in a horizontal straight line. And with this question, we've got a particle passes through a point A moving at 2 meters per second and continues with a constant velocity for 5 seconds until it reaches a point B. And at B, it accelerates at a constant rate for 4 seconds until it passes through a point C, moving with a velocity of 5 meters per second. And what we've got to do is find the distance covered and the acceleration from B to C. Now to do something like this, I would draw a horizontal straight line. Okay, and I've got points A, B and C marked on it. And then I'm going to add some more detail, that is the velocities as we pass through A. We're told that it's particles moving at 2 meters per second, so we'll just mark in the 2 meters per second. Okay, and it's moving with constant velocity, so it's going to carry on with a speed of 2 meters per second to the right through B. Okay, so just mark that in. There's going to be no acceleration from A to B because it's moving with a constant velocity. So I'll do a double arrow for the acceleration and just write zero there. Now, as we go from B to C, we see that at C, it passes through C at 5 meters per second. So we just put 5 meters per second there. And it's accelerating over this section here. So we'll do an acceleration arrow again. And this time we'll just have A there. A meters per second per second. I've got to put some times in. And when I put times in, I'd put them in brackets normally. We've got here at A, T is naught. This is where it started initially. At B, that was 5 seconds later. So we'll have t equals 5 here. 5 seconds. And 4 seconds later, it passes through c. So from the point of view of time, t will equal 4 seconds beyond the 5. So that's going to be 9 seconds. So that would be the kind of diagram I would do. And uh, I'll leave it up to you to decide whether you would do something similar. Now, we've got to find the distance covered. So I need to work out the distance through A to B and then from B to C. Well, let's start with A to B first of all. Okay, so for this section, what we know is it's going at a constant speed. So we should be aware of the formula then that distance covered is equal to the speed times the time. Or, because it's going out to the right, we could say that it was S for displacement equals the initial speed, U, times the time, T. S equals UT. There's no acceleration. If you carried on using the formula plus a half AT squared, this term would disappear because A is zero. So you get back the normal formula, S equals UT, or distance equals speed times time. But remember that S is really displacement, but it will be the same as distance because we're moving out to the right. So if we put in our values, U, the initial speed, is 2 times the time, which is 5 seconds, and it's going to have moved 10 meters, 10 meters from A to B. Okay, now we need to go on and find the distance B to C. So to do something like this where we've got acceleration, what I would want to do is use my SUVAT equations, S, U, V, A and T. SUVAT. SUVAT is displacement, initial velocity, final velocity, acceleration and time. What do we know? Well from B to C we want to find out what S is, so we're not going to know that, but U, the initial velocity, was 2, 
two meters per second and we should really be setting up a positive sense I'm going to set up positive sense to the right okay so u is in the positive sense v the final velocity 5 meters per second to the right the acceleration a well we got to find that so we don't know that at the moment t the time well it took four seconds to go from B to C so we've got four seconds there. So what am I going to use then to find out what S is, the displacement from B to C? Well it's obviously got to be S equals U plus V times the time divided by 2. It's the only equation of the SUVAT equations that doesn't have A in. All right, so we pick that one. And if we fill in the values, u is 2, v is 5, multiply that by the time t of 4 seconds and divide the answer by 2. And what you get is 14. So 14 meters then from b to c. So when it comes to finding the distance covered, we can summarize and say therefore the total distance okay total distance let's say AC okay equals what well, is going to be the 10 plus the 14 meters giving us a total distance of 24 meters then okay so that's that part done and now we've got to find out the acceleration across here the A from B to C well to do that what I'm going to do is use the formula V equals U plus AT. Okay, we could rearrange this for A, which is really the basic definition for A, that is the change in velocity, V minus U, divided by the time taken. So you could go straight to that one really if you wanted to. But if we put our values in, we've got V, the final velocity, 5 minus the initial velocity which was the 2 here and then divided by the time taken to go from 2 to 5 which was 4 seconds so therefore you've got 3 divided by 4 3 quarters or as a decimal 0 0.75 meters per second per second and there you have it